Good morning, everybody. We are looking at Anise Hyssop. And it's about three plants. And it's covered in bees of all sizes. From tinier than a quarter inch to these big carpenter bees. There's bumbles, so many I don't know. And this is not even peak. The other day I was out here and I didn't have my phone. And I swear there were thousands on here. Maybe millions since now, there's probably thousands. Cause this is a whole row of different kinds of plants. But what is really happening at this moment is anise hyssop. It's a really beautiful plant and the leaves can be used for tea if you like anise. I love anise. I'm not really a tea person, but I rub the leaves all the time and smell them. Smell my fingers and it's just so calming and it is so wonderful to see all this life on here. Oh my gosh, y'all. I hope you have some of this planted. Uh, it's a mint, so it has a square stem. That's a good sign of a mint. So you just rub it, and if it feels like a square, you probably have a mint. So Lamiaceae. And mints are generally really loved by all kinds of insects, so they obviously offer some really good stuff. This just makes my morning. I mean, we are peak summer. You can feel autumn hinting around the edges. The goldfinches are singing and there's some color changing on sumac and black gum. The days are changing, the cicadas are singing, the light is changing. You can feel autumn coming, but obviously before autumn you have peak summer. And we are there. We are there. And so you know Steve and I are soaking up every last minute of it. That cardinal flower is loved by hummingbirds. They're in here all the time. They've stopped hitting the feeders as hard as they were. We had a little cold snap and so I think that these flowers are just producing so much nectar that they're out here using the good, good stuff, the plant nectar. All right, that's it for today. I'm just loving on these insects. I hope you're seeing the insects everywhere where you are.